if you can buy plastic windows for your race car off the shelf, good luck to you. But most of us backyard racers <coughs> who build our own beasts in the shed at home habitually tend to pick cars that have either passed the age or brands and models that have stocks of improved parts that we can buy. So we have to make our own. But making it ourselves gets particularly difficult when we want lightweight windows because of the conflicting advice and bad experiences of our pit mates and the product technology and the lack of information that can confront us. For the last three weeks, I've just simply been trying to make the best windows that I can from a race car. Well, if you also include in that researching and making my own oven in which to make them, that time blows out to over three months. During that time, I've learned a lot of information from the commercial plastics industry, done a lot of testing, and made a lot of mistakes. When an offcut of four and a half millimetre abrasive resistant Lexan became available at a bargain price, I thought I'd found the perfect product for my windows. This is the result of my first attempt at baking and then drape moulding the 4.5mm Lexan in my oven. And this bubble crazing that I got over half of the window is not the result of me getting the times or the temperatures to cook it wrong. Because afterwards I found out what had caused this. The majority of thermoplastic resins, including sheet products, such as acrylic and polycarbonate, are hygroscopic. In other words, they absorb moisture. Moisture builds up during manufacture, transportation and storage. During forming, excess moisture can cause bubbling and other surface appearance problems, like a white crazing. It is essential that that water is removed prior to forming. A hot air circulating oven at 125 degrees Celsius is the recommended way of doing this and the air volume in the oven should be changed six times per hour to allow for the removal of that water vapour. If you do not do this step when heat forming lexin or acrylic, you risk having patterns and crazing all over your job. So in my next test, I pre-dried my Lexan at 120 degrees for 10 hours, but I made the mistake of not letting it cool down before I put it back in the oven. After pre-drying, I just left it in the oven and raised the temperature to 150 degrees Celsius for melting, and that was a mistake. Test number three, I pre-dry my Lexan take it out of the oven to cool down for about 15 minutes, put it back in the oven and bake it to melt temperature. This time I get lots of surface cracks and spring back warpage, even though it was clamped between two moulds. A mate on my race cars in Aussie Shed Facebook page who owns a large plastic business says those cracks are the outer protective layers on the lex and cracking and he doesn't know of any cure. His advice is, if you want to drape mould windows, acrylic is his preferred material. Stay away from Lexan. I've also made things extremely difficult for myself to mould at home by using 4.5mm sheet instead of 3mm sheet. So today I'm going to cut out my four side windows out of 3mm Lexan, at $135 for the sheet. The two rears and the two doors. Now on most cars, these windows only have a slight curve, so with the right adhesive, nuts, bolts and plastic rivets, well that should be enough to shake them. Then I'll use my oven 
to have a go at moulding this compound curved rear hatchback glass using 3mm acrylic sheeting, about $125 for the sheet. We'll see how we go. Fall back position, just use the factory glass. If you're thinking of fitting plastic windows to any car racing on the Confederation of Australian Motorsport rules, check out this rule. Each front door window covering the whole of the window opening must have an open slot of a minimum 150 by 50 mil located within 30 mil of the window edge to allow the window to be removed without tools in the event of an emergency. In other words, you can no longer bolt plastic door windows in place and they must have at least one hole where safety marshals can rip it out in a track emergency. So this is legal but for CAMS races this is not. This is my second attempt at fastening Lexan to this door. In my first try, I copied the method that I used on the rear side windows. I used blobs of windscreen sealant and then used temporary bolts to hold it overnight while the rubber set. But then I had two problems. After a bit of research, my first idea to meet racing regulations 
was to use plastic rivets or scrivets as breakable fasteners. But when I removed the temporary holding bolts and tried to fit those plastic fasteners, they wouldn't hold the lexan in the curved shape. And the second problem I had is that the adhesive wouldn't stick to the lexan. Finding the right balance between sufficient strength of mounting versus removability for these windows is a real balancing act. You don't want them flying off while you're racing or going down the freeway high speed with a car on the trailer and yet the marshals have to be able to just rip them out. This special windscreen sealant that didn't work is 28 bucks a tube so this time I'm just going back to basic polyurethane and I'm going to put a bead all the way around the window. I'll use these M6 countersunk nylon bolts to hold the Lexan permanently in the curved shape of the door. Strong but breakable. mold the clear plastic for this rear hatchback, let me show you some of the fine details of the way I set my oven up. You can't just put the clear plastic straight in the oven because if it touches anything metal, that metal will overheat the clear plastic on those spots. So I've made a timber shelf which won't burn, it smells a bit, but it won't burn, the temperatures aren't that high. Uh, and I've drilled holes in it to allow for good air circulation. However, subsequent testing has showed these holes created hot spots, which resulted in these blisters. When your plastic is fully heated and soft, you want it absolutely flat before you whisk it out to put it on your mould. But your sheet goes wavy when you bake it on these dowels. So I've since found for baking it's better to not use the dowels and to not use the sheet with the holes in it. So I've gone back to a plain plywood shelf with no holes in it and I put baking or cooking paper on it to protect the plastic from scratches off the timber. The difficulty with pre-drying Lexan or acrylic clear sheeting is that the temperature at which you have to pre-dry is just below the melt temperature. 
One temptation when you're moulding Lexan or acrylic clear sheeting at home is to put several sheets in the oven with dowel in between them when you're doing a pre-drawing to save all per gas. But the problem with a homemade barbecue like this is that it's not to the standard of an industrial oven. Uh, and so you can have problems. If you get the slightest heat spot within the oven, what will happen is your sheets, even though they're separated by doweling, if you get a hot spot, will come together and touch and then they'll glue themselves together and you'll lose both sheets. Ask me how I know this. I just lost a sheet of Lexi and I just lost a sheet of uh, acrylic in one go. Another mistake. So the thing is, pre-drawing, do it one sheet at a time if you're doing this at home. Watching the sheet bend in the oven will physically show you if one end is too hot and you can adjust your burners to balance the temperature across your oven. Briefly opening your oven door allows you to check from one end of the sheet right to the other to make sure it's melting the same all the way across.
I'm very happy with how both these rear hatchback clear plastic windows turned out. I wanted to make one in Lexan polycarbonate because I want to be able to drill it and use it as a, um, a factory glass which hinges and on the Civic there's no frame around it so the glass has to be strong. Um, but the acrylic is definitely a lot easier to mould and to get a, a pretty much spot on finish with. Some guys are concerned about um, how uh, acrylic shatters on impact but for side glass and a rear glass I don't think that's really a factor particularly in the forms of motorsport I'm doing which are only one car at a time. So um, you make your choice whether you want acrylic or polycarbonate but you can do it at home.